you have a vision for the product and then you have a use case library and then you're trying to build the ROI database. <laughs> As, does anyone is at that stage where you have a few pilots here and there, you have a few of your properties that uh, are uh, to the level you want them to be. How do you capture the information in a centralized way? We know technology is happening, you know, in these buildings. Um, there's no real stopping stopping that at this point. Uh, genie's out of the bottle, if you will. Uh, but the challenge is how to take approaches that have worked for, you know, the IT organizations of the world and, and look at applying them to buildings where we have a pretty significant fragmentation problem. Um, to say nothing of ownership and property management versus asset management and vendors and there, there's a lot of complexity here we have to deal with when, when it comes to managing these buildings. I think I see that a lot in real estate is that these big owners and operators think they're, you know, nothing, you know, there's nothing wrong with thinking you're great, right? But I think, oh, everyone wants to work with us. You know, we're so great. You know, we're, we're, we're the biggest client. Um, and then some entrepreneurs say no to them because they just want to do one building. And then they're like, wait, hang on, what's happening? Like, you know, we thought we were the greatest. And a lot of it is because they're like, well, why would I put all this time in for one building? And then, you know, a three-year contract, right? Like, what what is it? And I think if you just sell them that, it, it, it's very helpful for the partnerships. We need to know what returns we're going to get from the properties if we do something with technology. So I've always found when dealing with technology, you got to lead with what's important to the organization. And these days, it's a lot about ESG. It's a lot about returns. Uh, and therefore, don't lead with technology. Say that I can solve your problems. I can improve your returns. And if you talk that way, then you'll get a bigger audience. If you say, I want to put in technology, they're going to roll their eyes and go, uh, you don't get it. And what we've done over the last couple of years is say, right, what is it that we want to do better? What are the problems that we need to solve? And then what technology can we find to solve those problems? So I think I think having those well-defined use cases is, is, is really important. Because we're, we're not as focused on the uh, softer um, uh, factors or variables that uh, come out of buildings or, or investments generally, right? ESG uh, is more of a, a secondary outcome. And so cost and return and total revenue and, and you know, all of these kind of inputs, that's really the most important thing for us. So uh, all the topics discussed today, they are very much at the 99% of my uh, of my time this, uh, these days. Uh, we have the same challenges and I really enjoyed uh, the point of view, the, the strategy exposed by intelligent buildings. So thank you very much, uh, Jeff and everyone. Uh, it's been helpful and this is what I expect from this club.